Same Claude Filter with Otters TV here with Dakota Phillips, one of the returners from 2019, and you're off to a great start in 2021. What do you think has led to your success here early? Um, you know, just kind of slowing the game down. Um, you know, playing playing last year in 2020 helped me a lot, and being able to fine tune my game and understand who I was as a player and more of an approach side and early work and how I should carry myself as a professional has really helped me. Obviously, 2020 was an interesting season for every baseball player. How did you spend the pandemic here? Um, I spent uh, 2020 in a, a league in Texas. Um, we, uh, the Atlantic League, put together a small league, and um, I played with and against a, a lot of ex-big leaguers in AAA and top prospects in MLB. And, you know, just learning from those guys and being in competition with them really helped me jump to the next level in my game. How do you think playing in that helped you develop as a baseball player? It helped a lot, you know, um, talking to guys that have been, you know, eight to ten years in the big leagues, you know, and learning what's helped them and, you know, what they wish they knew when they were my age and um, learning how they went about the game and how they went about their routines and, um, you know, understanding how to call pitches like a big league pitcher or catcher, and, you know, it, it's really helped me um, coming back here and being able to put all that in play. You've partaken in a couple of the home run derbies new in the Frontier League in 2021. Is there anything that you do differently mindset-wise, knowing that you're trying to swing for the fences as opposed to simply getting on base during a regular game? Um, yeah, the home run derby is a lot different than a bats in a game. You know, uh, in a game, depending on your pitcher, you have to have an approach and you have to understand and have a game plan going at each guy. And each at bat can be different. So, um, you know, the home run derby, it's just letting Bobby throw a good pitch and just getting the girl to the baseball. I mean, he does a great job of giving us good pitches to hit. And, I mean, we've just been fortunate enough to get enough barrels to the baseball and come out on top. Right, and then as the Otters have gotten off to a quick start through 14 games, 10 and 4, including the two home run derby wins, how do you kind of keep this going and keep that pace in terms of winning percentage? Um, honestly, just keep going uh, every day, just trying to end the day one and up. You know, stop. Um, not so much trying to think of three games ahead or you know the game tomorrow. We have to we have to go at the game today and do each of our jobs to the best that we can and. You know, slow the game down and score more runs than the other team. Finally, how much did you miss Evansville last year? I missed a lot, you know, and I mean, it's great to be back here and the fans are, you know, the best in the whole league. And it, it's great, you know, with all the renovations and everything. And it, it's just, it, it's a fun time being back here in Evansville. Bonus question, like the new look, the new hats, the new jerseys? Yeah, I mean, I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of change. But, I'm not either. You know, it, it, it is what it is, and I mean, hey, it could be worse. <laughs> I like it, though. Dakota, it could be a whole lot worse. He's Dakota Phillips. I'm Zane Claude Filter. This has been Otters TV.